Hello, welcome to your car charm kit tutorial. If you stumbled upon this video and you'd like to purchase a kit, the link is in the description. So each kit is going to include a pre-cut macrame cord, a finished wooden dowel, a hanging string, and two wooden beads for diffusing. And what you're going to need is a clipboard, some sharp scissors, some kind of scotch tape, and a fine tooth comb. So starting off our project, we're going to do five lark's head knots to attach everything to this dowel. So fold a strand in half, make sure it's even, and you're going to push the loop over the dowel and then pull the loose ends through the loop you just created. Pull that tight up to the dowel, make sure it's secure. And then continue just adding all the rest of the cords to the dowel using the lark's head knot. Changing in the soul of Barrett caught a cold white rabbit's foot home. Once you have all five cords attached, it should look something like this. Grabbing your clipboard, you're just going to attach your dowel with the strands under the clip. Pull down tight, we want it to be really secure. And we're going to start off doing a square knot. So find your first four strands on the far left and taking the two outer cords You're going to pass the left over the center and then the right is going to go over and then behind everything and through and then pull tight. Make sure you keep the center as stable as possible whether that's holding it down or using your middle and ring finger. If you don't do that, it just bunches up at the top and it's really uh, difficult to work around. So pull tight to the top and then to complete the square knot, we're going to do the same exact thing, but we're going to start on the right this time. So the right will go over the center and then the left will go over and behind. Pull through and pull it all the way up to the top. I've been thinking about myself today. Thinking how hard to... We're going to continue tying square knots in a row on the top here. By the time we're done, there should be three square knots total. So again, you have four strands. The left will go over the center, and then the right will go over and behind and through. Pull tight. And then one more time, starting on the right, over the center and then the left over, behind, and through. I wasn't looking out for you, I'm sorry, I'm so shallow. But I'm still looking forward to watching part two of Deathly Hallows with you. Go 
ahead and tie that one last square knot and we will have our first row completed. Starting on our next row, this time we're going to alternate our square knots. So the next one is going to be directly under the first and second knot that we tied in that first row. So find your four strands and tie another square knot. And now tie another square knot using that same pattern of alternating. So go directly under the second and third knot from the first row. So we're going to continue that alternating pattern. Um, go ahead and we're going to do another full row of three knots. And when you get to the top here, there's going to be a little natural gap, a space that shows up. Leave that there. We don't want that to go too tight or it will cause our piece to lose its shape. So complete this row and then another row of two under this. And we will start to taper the rows down to create a V shape.
now we're going to taper down our design so instead of doing another full row we're going to do one final square knot right there in the center in between the two last knots that you just tied so one last knot and when you're done with this you'll see that you've created a V shape So now we're going to frame our V. So split all your cords directly in half, move them to the side, and we're going to create a half hitch, which is essentially a line design. So find your very first cord that is going to be your leader cord. And then the cord directly behind that is going to go up, over, around, and pull tight. And you're going to do that twice per cord. So this will be our second time, pull tight, and then we're gonna move on to the next cord. So up, around, through, pull tight once, and up, around, and through twice. Moving on to the next cord, up, around, through, and then up, around, and pull through. And I will mention that it's really important that you make sure that these cords that you're wrapping around and tying around are always behind your leader cord uh, to get this, this knot right. So the leader cord should always be in the front and it should always be held at a taut, you know, tight angle of the direction you're wanting your um, line to be, so. Okay, finishing off the half hitch on this side. So go all the way until you reach the center and then push that aside. And we're going to do the same thing on the left now. So find that leader cord. Again, up, around, through, pull tight once. And up, around and through twice. There's our half hitch and continue on. It is going to feel a little different on the left side than it did on the right and that's okay. It is the same exact knot. You're obviously just going in a different direction. So this just takes some practice. Don't worry if you're feeling like it feels a little odd and different, that's totally normal. So continue that row down and then we're going to connect the two leader cords with one final half hitch. It doesn't matter which direction you go. You can go on the left or the right, whatever you prefer. So your piece should look something like this and now we're going to put the hanging string on so find the center of your piece separate it a bit and then we're going to put the loose end, the two loose ends through that gap so i like to go from the back of the piece i push them through and then I do another lark's head knot. So I take those two uh, loose strands and I put them through the loop and I pull tight. So now grab your beads and your scotch tape and if you have some kind of yarn needle or like a thicker needle you can totally use that. The tape is just a little trick that I like to use. Um, so tape your two ends 
This is just so we can fit our two strands easily through the beads. Um, I just kind of roll it along the end and kind of create like a point. Make sure it's really tight on there and then it just makes it a little bit easier to get the beads through. Now just tie one final overhand knot with that hanging strand um, right at the base, the top of your beads, that way they stay secure. And go ahead and just trim the, the tape off the top of your hanging strand. And now we're just going to roughly trim the ends of the piece. So I would say like two inches or so. And then to create that fluffy, soft fringe, go ahead and brush out those strands with a fine tooth comb. Make sure everything's flattened out and straight, and then you can do one final clean trim. I like to cut it at an angle to mimic the V shape we created with the, the piece. I'm so sorry that this is not in frame, but <laughs> go ahead and do whatever shape you'd like. And... That is the finished project. Thank you so much for purchasing this kit. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.